<sighs> this is the spot. Perfect for camping. Got a bridge for all the shade all day. Like I realized yesterday, all I need to be happy is shade and water. Like those are the two things that just make me content and stop me from being like irritated and frustrated. Like good shade, not like patchy, like one gum tree in the middle of a dirt patch where the shade is slowly moving around all day and you're like trying to like just get any kind of relief from the sun. Like this is solid and there's like fresh water and yeah, it's just everything. This is, this is everything. This is what you need to survive. Of course, food, but I'm sure there's food here. It's just that we grow up in a society that doesn't teach you any of that. Or well, some of us do. <laughs> My mate did a big, um, a bunch of big survival courses in New South Wales this year, and he was telling me all about it. And um, yeah, he could pretty much find food, water, shelter, or make it or hunt it. Like, yeah, no worries. What I like to do is go and hang out with that mate after he does all that shit. And um, yeah, then he like tells me like the most important things and the key things. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks, now I won't die if I'm in that part of the world. I've done a retreat with him before, like a three day thing where we went out with nothing and had an experience. I actually documented, um, I didn't document the experience because part of it was not speaking and like just being totally silent. But I documented like the end of it and the start of it, like before we left and right after it. And after it, I'm just like, red as a tomato because we're like out in the middle of nowhere just in nature and yeah just didn't even didn't even like click to me that like I would be getting sunburnt like it was just like the last thing on my mind and then when I put, turned the camera on and I saw myself in the screen I just cracked up laughing like I just thought it was hilarious one of those times you know one of the first times that I really got out amongst it and like just felt like, yeah, you can live out here, you can survive out here. We don't need all the luxuries of modern society. They're actually traps. <laughs> the more society like offers us, you know, like the more convenience, the more ease, the more the less, the less that's expected of us, like, the more trapped we become. And we don't become trapped like, like, um, like anybody's actually going to control you and like stop you from doing shit. It's like we trap ourselves, we domesticate ourselves, we like, we become dependent and reliant on all this stuff. Like, you know, everybody knows like somebody who can't start their day without a coffee, but it goes to extremes, you know, like people need their Netflix, they need their uh, their air conditioning in their car, they need their, like the list is endless. There's thousands of things. Like if you actually, that's an exercise that you could do. Like sit down and honestly review like your current where you're at and like write down everything that, like don't just like put the ego fully aside and like don't just fucking overthink it. Just write down everything in your life that you're dependent or reliant on. And like, yeah. I don't know how to, just let, let's just say everything that you use and then like, like write down everything that you use, uh, like anything that, so, that society offers or like, yeah, just objects, services, um, comforts, food, drink, drugs, everything and write the list and see like it could be hundreds of things, like hundreds of things and then go through it and like give yourself a out of 10, like how dependent am I on this thing? Like how, how reliant am I on this thing? Or like maybe you could make it this, like out of 10, how sure am I that if I had to live without this tomorrow that it wouldn't upset me, you know? Like just review because like um, I think 
looking back, I'm like, wow. There was so much shit I thought I needed that I have absolutely no interest in like maintaining anymore, like keeping, like I just don't care. Um, but when you're in it, it's just like, it, it's invisible. Like you don't even notice how many things you're, you're just addicted to really. Now I've got it down to shade and fresh water. <laughs> or I don't, like fresh water is good because you can drink it, but like I love the ocean more than I love fresh. But I did, so ideally what I want to do is I want to live on a mountain that has waterfalls all the way down to a beautiful ocean. That's my dream location. <laughs> That's everything I need. And it's abundant with um, native fruits and nuts and seeds plants and fungi of all kinds maybe I do some like really sustainable farming some permaculture type stuff that's I'm um, that's definitely in my future like permaculture like really eco farming and like having like yeah what from the stuff that I've seen already I'm just like so keen to do that and then I'll like create all these new attachments but they'll be like they won't be like plugging into like the system it'll be like all self-sustained things like you create it for yourself you don't you're not like trading your time for money and then trading that money for things and then when you actually break it down you've traded your time for your whole life for fuck all like all the shit that you didn't really want or need you were just addicted to because you sort of just got swept along with the current of society I'm very anti-society at the moment I'm not I'm just it's just like where my, where my mind is right now I'm just really grateful just to have this like I still love like a comfy bed and a shower and a fridge full of food and like when I go, like, cause Christmas is coming up, I'm going to see my family. I'm going to gorge myself on like everything. And I'm going to enjoy like all the comforts, all the niceties, everything. Like I'm not, I'm not out here saying like, I'm just going to fucking live off the land for the rest of my life. I'm not at that level. It's just like, I'm going to spend a lot less time in the, in the addictions. I'm going to spend a lot more time in the freedom and like just being at peace out here like just remembering like what's really important and what is what even is really important still figuring that out you know what is really important anything It's like, what's in my mind right now that's like going around and around on a loop, you know, a positive loop, which is nice compared to the old anxious thoughts that used to go on loops and they were like, blah, 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 blah. I got like this nice loop. And it's the idea that like the ego is impatient and it's in a hurry because it knows its time is limited. The ego is the self, the identity of this vehicle knows it's gonna die knows that it's got only this lifetime to exist. If that, because you're, you're like dismantling the, the sense of who you are all the time and rebuilding it. And like, it, all the ego wants to do is maintain itself, sustain itself, keep itself alive. So it's impatient. It's like, fuck, we've got to do all this shit. We've got to live. We've got to, ah, uh, I just want to live before I die. Like, which is like, cool. Like, that's a part of us. Like, it's really good. It's a, ego motivates me to do so much shit. But then the spirit, which is like, you know, who we really are, it's eternal, it lives forever. We'll just keep going from experience to experience. And like, this is just like my belief. You might not believe this, but I believe that we continue the journey as a spirit. And um, the spirit is 
patient as because it knows like it doesn't matter if we don't do it right now. We'll do it. We'll do everything. We have eternity. There's time to do everything. Anything you want to experience, you'll get to it. Just relax. <laughs> but at the same time, we have an ego for a reason. It's like that motivation that drives us to get shit done and do the things and have the experiences so that we don't just sit here for eternally with our like feet up on the fucking couch, just chilling and eating fucking Doritos, not caring about the planet and all that sort of stuff. Like the ego is the, the interface. Like it's, it's your player character that you fucking pop into to the game for this one. We're gonna play this level. We're gonna be Kai Lives. We're gonna run around and we're gonna see what Kai Lives can achieve and accomplish in the game. But like try not to get caught up in thinking that that's all there is. Cause like once the game's over, we're gonna take that disc out of the PlayStation <laughs> and put another one in and do something else. You know, that's a bit of a stretch of the analogy, but it's fun. It's fun, just having fun. Don't take anything seriously. Don't believe my beliefs. <laughs> don't, don't like fucking take on my, my morals or like my judgments or my um, anything. Just do whatever you want to do. Because you're in a different game. This is not your game. <laughs> like we're all in a game, like a larger dimension that we're kind of all interacting in. But you know, you got your, you got your own thing, your own stuff to worry about, your own journey to go on. And I love seeing like in the comments, like people sharing like little bits, like this is where I'm at now. I'm fucking exploring this and it's been really good for me. And then somebody else jumps in and they're like, fuck yeah, man, that's so cool. I, I believe in you. <laughs> like just all encouraging each other. We need more of that kind of thing in the world. More like just positive reinforcement and just cheering each other on like, fuck yeah, man, live. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna enjoy this place now. Click the like button for me, uh, if you'd like to. Click the subscribe button for me, if you haven't already. Uh, leave your comments down below. Love to have chats in the comments. And if you have any questions um, like that you'd like a little bit more than like a comment response, I'm thinking about actually answering any decent questions that come down in the comments below in like a full on video, like just video respond to a bunch of questions, like doing the question and answer thing. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. So I'll see you shortly.